What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mode. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Build a Bane Blade, my project Apocalyst in September that myself and War Painter Brian are doing. Um, I'll put a little link below if you haven't been checking out his weekly progress logs. He's been really good about it. I just I haven't had any time. Oh, life. So here I am putting on the um, touches, finishing touches to the front part of my Bane Blade. There's the Demolisher Cannon, really well built. It's got the pocket in the back right here, the front plate, where you can um, glue it in. I decided to glue it in instead of leaving the Demolisher Cannon free to swivel around. And thinking back, I wish I could have chosen to do that instead. Um, I decided I wanted to do that in case I wanted to magnetize it to show weapon destroyed. But I think to show weapon destroyed, all I'm going to do is get some black cotton or something to stick into the barrel of the cannon so that it'll look like it's destroyed rather than actually removing the entire demolisher cannon. I thought I might want to get fancy with magnets, but decided not to. Those are the hatches that I'm putting on right now. And um, we're going to talk about the parts that I did want to magnetize, these little hatches on the back where like the engine is. So this is how I go about doing it. Okay, so this is the part where I'm going to try magnetizing something in the back. You've got these two hatches here that sit over these two sections. And I love the detail. Kind of sad that you have to cover them up, especially for painters who, you know, how do you get in there to paint that up before you cover it up? Why would you cover it up? Uh, I think it might be cool to show them, to show the tank gradually losing um, hull points or whatever the equivalent to hull points are in Apocalypse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to magnetize them. So you can see I already put in this one, uh, yeah, I think the measurement is 1 8th by 1 16th of an inch from Primal Horizon. They are very very nice they, they come in this little size here and it's perfect for look at this the inside of this hatch so I super glued one magnet in I didn't do any drilling I didn't do anything I just kind of popped it in right there it sits really nicely between one of the little bolts and something some little admec doodads in there so I just put it in and uh, now I'm gonna test where the polarity would be best for the upper magnet to attract it so Looks like this is where the polarity is. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine that this is there. And I'm going to just take it off from the top and pop it in there and super glue that. I'll actually show you, me, uh, show you it while I do it. A very important thing is you want to make sure that you get the right side in because once that glue sets, boy howdy, it's going to be hard to move around. Okay, here we go. Just kind of sliding it off, taking the rest of the magnets away with me. Kind of turned, so I want to make sure that can turn it back the way it should go. I'm gonna take the back of my paintbrush now. If you have toothpicks, oh, toothpick would be great because they're not metallic. You can really get in there and move it where you want it to be. <clears throat> kind of sloppy with the uh, super glue. You can see it kind of leaking out the sides there, but you want just enough so that it'll go inside. I'm gonna just dab the excess away with uh, my napkin here. The purpose of this, like I said, is to be able to remove the lid of, off of the tank every now and again um, if you want to show damage. Okay, so we're moving on now and we're going in the double bolters, twin bolters, I guess, for the, oh gosh, what part is this? 
Um, I don't even remember where this goes. I think this is on the front part of the turret. So many weapons on this Bane Blade. I kept thinking of the novel Bane Blade by Guy Haley. And um, yeah, just so much great creative opportunities. I really, I really am gonna like coming up with background fluff and history for these, for the, the crewmen and women. I want to make it a mixed co-ed tank. Um, one of the first co-ed tanks crewed by men and women from Australia. So that's uh, a little bit of my, my background fluff. I've already thought of the uh, commander, the tank commander being uh, a woman, the first female tank commander out of Australia. Uh, to be promoted up through the ranks of the the mechanized infantry regiments. Uh, so I'm coming up with some some fluff for her. Maybe her family worked in the manufactorums, and she just had a natural affinity for it. And because of her family's close ties to the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus, she has gained a little bit of an extra insight into the workings of the machine spirit. So I, I kind of feel like her and the tank are like the, they have this very cool relationship. And from a fiction standpoint, I, I think it's awesome to develop. Like maybe the tank is very protective of her as almost like a, like an uncle figure. And, uh, and, and in return, she is very smart and um, <clears throat> you know, takes care of the tank. Okay, so here is, yeah, this is definitely the turret. This, there's that cool little las gun piece that you see, like, it swivels on the back. It's so ridiculous because it's this tiny little las gun, swiveling las gun in the middle of this huge honking turret with a uh, las cannon on the front next to the big gun. Here are the sides. The Bane Bait clip kit. Woo! What did you say? Nothing, Lewis. The Bane ba Blade kit is built so well that the bottom piece and the walls connect really nicely to each other. There's even a little molded section of the side pieces of armor that slot into the base of the turret and it fits really, really nicely. There's the last cannon on the front used for sighting and targeting range. Um, don't do what I do. I accidentally glued the, um, or there, I guess there's some leftover glue that got stuck in the swivelly part of the turret that goes up and down. You don't want it to uh, dry there because you want to be able to move your turret around and aim it up and down at the titans it's inevitably going to be shooting at and flyers and stuff. So I mean it just fits so nicely this plastic kit Games Workshop came out with. Okay and here you see me trying to fit my metal, uh, a metal Vestroyan figure into the turret trying to figure out okay what's going to go where. Where is the commander going to go? Where is this gunner figure going to go? And finally, I think I decided to put the guy with the, the LAS rifle on the right side of the turret and the loader figure for the heavy bolter who's going to be my tank commander. I think I'll call her Natasha or Ilyana or some cool sexy Russian name. She's going to be where that guy is currently. Alright, so thanks for watching. I had a great time building up this part of the Bane Blade tonight. Stay tuned for more Bane Blade craziness as Project Apocalypse continues. Head light. And there you have it, players. I kind of stopped when I was um, trying to mount these two Vastroians because I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do with them. I did take my magnets and I magnetized the inside of the barrel. So, yeah, it was really... Not as hard as I thought it would be. There's this awesome little notch right there that's just big enough for the magnet to fit inside. So I just made sure it is the right side and then I clipped the top of the notch that goes on here and I glued in another magnet there. And also if I want to magnetize this Hellhammer, I think it's called, then I popped in a third magnet there. Letting the super glue dry now so I can't really show, show you or even see myself if it, if it works or not, but I think it will. I tested all the polarities, which is always good. And I uh, got a little bit of fluff already because they're using their gas masks. This is a uh, mixed tank company of male and female. So I've got the uh, female tank commander here who um, everybody else in the tank looks up to. Especially uh, this one trooper over here who's kind of like, I guess the, one, of the, one of the gunners. So she's a tank commander then he's probably like the first gunner. 
and uh, we'll just say that he uh, maybe he has a crush on her or something something sweet love Russian love in space hope you guys enjoyed this uh, part two of the Bane blade let's build I'm really having a good time the, the hardest part for me is cleaning up all the mold lines so um, that's what's taking so long all the different pieces have mold lines but now that we're actually getting into the awesome part of the build with the sponsons and all the little little doodads and stuff I'm really having a great time so hope you are too and we'll see you in the next video for Project Apocalypse in September.